Hey y'all, I'm April, and for today's Make in a Day crochet video, we are going to be making an easy cotton dish towel. Okay, but real talk, one of my favorite projects to make are these cotton dish towels because they are so beautiful and they're functional, you can make them in a day, and they make it seem like you have your life together, even if you don't. But who has to know? So whether you choose to uh, make these as gifts or keep them for yourself, these dish towels are awesome. Cotton is really soft and it's absorbent. It's actually going to get your dish or your hands dry. Like, you know, when you're looking for like the good one of something, this, this is the good one. This is the dish towel that you're going to want to use over and over again. And so for those reasons, I can't recommend anything else other than cotton for these dish towels. Thank me later. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on that notification bell. Also, tell me how you're feeling today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, it's okay. I can take it. Give it a thumbs down. Okay, but let's get started. Here's everything you're going to need to make this cotton dish towel. For this project, you'll need a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, and approximately nine ounces of four weight cotton yarn. I'm working in Lily Sugar and Cream in the color off white. I can get a whole dish towel out of one of these oversized skeins. I love them. Start out with a slip knot and then chain 51. This is going to include your turning chain. In the second chain from your hook, insert your hook and single crochet, then single crochet all the way across. You'll have a total of 50 stitches. At the end of your row, chain one, turn your work, and then insert your hook in that first stitch that you came out of and single crochet, then single crochet all the way across. You're going to single crochet a total of eight more rows after this one. So you will have a total of 10 rows of single crochet. And it'll look something like this. Now we're gonna make a bobble row. Insert your hook to that first stitch and single crochet. Then in the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, and pull through the first two loops on your hook. Then do it again, yarn over, insert, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, pull through two. And one more, yarn over, insert, pull through two. You're gonna have six loops on your hook. Pull through all of them, and then in the next stitch, you're gonna close it off with a single crochet. I do have another video on how to make bobbles if you need additional support. At the end of your row, so you're gonna do your last bobble, close it off with a single crochet, and then in the last stitch of the row, you're going to single crochet. Every bobble row is going to start and end with this extra single crochet. When you finish your bobbles, you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to single crochet all the way across. It's still gonna be a total of 50 stitches going all the way across. You're gonna do two more rows of single crochet. You're gonna have a total of three rows of single crochet after your bobble row. You'll see by doing three rows of single crochet, it set us up to do another bobble row. We're on the correct side of our work. So do one more row of bobbles followed by three more rows of single crochet. All right, after we've done those three rows of single crochet, we're gonna do one more row of bobbles. And this is what it looks like so far. We got our 10 row single crochet, then bobble, then three row single, bobble, three row single, and bobble. The middle of our project is gonna be 41 rows of single crochet, and it's gonna look like this. Ta-da! You did not need to watch me do 41 rows of single crochet. On the opposite end of our towel, we're gonna do the mirror version of this. So we're gonna do a row of bobbles, followed by three rows of single crochet, and then another row of bobbles, three more rows of single crochet, a row of bobbles, followed by 10 rows of single crochet. When you're all done, just cut your yarn and weave in your ends. If you plan on giving this as a gift, my quick tip for wrapping is flip it over so the right side is facing down, and then fold it into thirds going long ways, then fold it into thirds going across the middle like that, and just, just, just hide your crimes, just tuck at the ends. There you go, you can put a bow on it, do whatever. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make this project. Until we meet again, please stay safe, wash your hands, and happy crocheting.